Percy Williams Bridgman Percy Williams Bridgman, April 21, 1882, August 20, 1961, was an American physicist who received the 1946 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the physics of high pressures. He also wrote extensively on the scientific method and on other aspects of the philosophy of science. The Bridgman effect and the Bridgman Stockbarger technique are named after him. Biography Early life Known to family and friends as Peter, Bridgman was born in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and grew up in nearby Auburndale, Massachusetts. Bridgman's parents were both born in New England. His father, Raymond Landon Bridgman, was profoundly religious and idealistic and worked as a newspaper reporter assigned to state politics. His mother, Mary Ann Maria Williams, was described as more conventional, sprightly, and competitive. Bridgman attended both elementary and high school in Auburndale, where he excelled at competitions in the classroom, on the playground, and while playing chess. Described as both shy and proud, his home life consisted of family music, card games, and domestic and garden chores. The family was deeply religious, reading the Bible each morning and attending a congregational church. However, Bridgman later became an atheist. Education and professional life Bridgman entered Harvard University in 1900, and studied physics through to his PhD from 1910 until his retirement, he taught at Harvard, becoming a full professor in 1919. In 1905, he began investigating the properties of matter under high pressure. A machinery malfunction led him to modify his pressure apparatus, the result was a new device enabling him to create pressures eventually exceeding 100,000 kgf cm2, 10 GPa, 100,000 atmospheres. This was a huge improvement over previous machinery, which could achieve pressures of only 3,000 kgf cm2, 0.3 GPa. This new apparatus led to an abundance of new findings, including a study of the compressibility, electric and thermal conductivity, tensile strength and viscosity of more than 100 different compounds. Bridgman is also known for his studies of electrical conduction in metals and properties of crystals. He developed the Bridgman seal and is the eponym for Bridgman's thermodynamic equations. Bridgman made many improvements to his high-pressure apparatus over the years, and unsuccessfully attempted the synthesis of diamond many times. His philosophy of science book The Logic of Modern Physics, 1927, advocated operationalism and coined the term operational definition. In 1938 he participated in the International Committee composed to organize the International Congresses for the Unity of Science. He was also one of the eleven signatories to the Russell-Einstein Manifesto. Home Life and Death Bridgman married Olive Ware, of Hartford, Connecticut, in 1912. Ware's father, Edmund Asa Ware was the founder and first president of Atlanta University. The couple had two children and were married for 50 years, living most of that time in Cambridge. The family also had a summer home in Randolph, New Hampshire, where Bridgman was known as a skilled mountain climber. Bridgman was a penetrating analytical thinker with a fertile mechanical imagination and exceptional manual dexterity. He was a skilled plumber and carpenter, known to shun the assistance of professionals in these matters. He was also fond of music and played the piano, and took pride in his flower and vegetable gardens. Bridgman committed suicide by gunshot after suffering from metastatic cancer for some time. His suicide note read in part, It isn't decent for society to make a man do this thing himself. Probably this is the last day I will be able to do it myself. Bridgman's words have been quoted by many in the assisted suicide debate. Honors and awards Bridgman received doctors, honoris causa from Stevens Institute, 1934, Harvard, 1939, Brooklyn Polytechnic, 1941, Princeton, 1950, Paris, 1950, and Yale, 1951. He received the Bingham Medal, 1951, from the Society of Rheology, the Rumford Prize from the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, 1919, the Elliott Cresson Medal, 1932 from the Franklin Institute, the gold medal from Bequies Rosebohm Fund, founder Hendrik Willem Bequies Rosebohm, 1933, from the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the Comstock Prize, 1933, of the National Academy of Sciences. Bridgman was a member of the American Physical Society and was its president in 1942. He was also a member of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the American Philosophical Society, and the National Academy of Sciences. He was a foreign member of the Royal Society and Honorary Fellow of the Physical Society of London. The Percy W. Bridgman House, in Massachusetts, 
is a U.S. National Historic Landmark designated in 1975. In 2014, the Commission on New Minerals, Nomenclature and Classification CNMNC, of the International Mineralogical Association IMA, approved the name Bridgmanite for perovskite structured MG, face CO3, the Earth's most abundant mineral, in honor of his high-pressure research. Bibliography of his high-pressure